Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. It's time for an authentic unboxing. And this is going to be a double whammy. Now, you're asking yourself, Kurt, what is a double whammy? Well, I'm going to tell you. But first, I'm going to tell you about the questions I get asked when I walk down the street. And let me tell you, when you drive a 2003 Honda Odyssey, you spend a fair amount of time walking down the street. Well, when I walk down the street, I'm asked two questions. The first question is, Kurt, is Lou Whitaker a Hall of Famer? And the second question I'm asked is, Kurt, what is an authentic unboxing? Well, that's an excellent, actually, those are two excellent questions. But I'm going to answer the second question first. An authentic unboxing is an unboxing where the contents of the package have been sealed and remain sealed. In fact, this baggage has been, have you, have you had any baggages? Have you received any baggages in the mail? This baggage has been hermetically sealed in a mayonnaise jar on Funkin' Wagnall's porch since noon today. Serious, serious sealing. So often on the YouTube, have you been to the YouTube? So often on the YouTube, we see unboxing videos where the contents have clearly been opened sometimes even used on the tabletop and then crammed back inside in a pathetic attempt to fool you, the YouTube viewer. There were several months there where we were doing a better job with our unboxings. They were becoming more authentic. But lately, yes, lately, I said it, lately, there's been a rash of counterfeit unboxings. Very disappointing. Demand more. You deserve more as a YouTube viewer. Well, when you come to Kurt Berglund's baseball world, you can expect your unboxings to be authentic. Or in, the, in this case, you're unbaggaging. You're unwrapping. Well, I'm very excited today because not only do we have an unboxing, but we have a product release. Yeah, that, my friends, is the old double whammy. An unboxing and product release all rolled into one. This is the kind of excitement only Kurt Berglund's baseball world can bring you. All right. Now, of course, my friends, they don't usually let me have these. Usually I'm bombarded with pesky questions like, Kurt, are you up to date on your medication? <laughs> which, which, don't get me wrong, a good question regardless. But especially if I'm handling these. I also get asked, Kurt, what are you going to do with those? And Kurt... Do you know how to use those? <laughs> also a good question, but I do know how to use them. Now, in case we need them, I also brought my guns. Yep, I got them. I hope you have your tickets for the gun show. We're ready to go. We are ready to crack in. You are ready to crack? Crack? <laughs> All right. I just got done watching TikTok. Have you been to the TikTok? <laughs> boy, oh boy. You watch TikTok long enough and you're convinced anything's going to kill you in the next 10 minutes. Unbelievable. And the doctors on TikTok. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. People keep saying to me, Kurt, are you on the TikTok? Are you on the TikTok? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. 
Okay, here we go. We're ripping in. We're tearing in. I'm using the guns first. Ooh. And my guns are working. Oh, no, they're not. They stopped working. We got to resort to the sharp implements. Oh. The sharp implements are not helping. Oh, yeah, they are. Here we go. All right, we're in. We are in. It's an authentic unboxing plus product release date. I'm very sentimental about my packaging. I keep it carefully secured. And here we go with more unboxing, unpackaging. All right. Again, very important to keep your packaging secure. Be sentimental. Be sentimental. I said it. Be sentimental. All right, here we go. This will be kept in a very secure location for the next 20 minutes. All right, here we go. It's On Deck Baseball Pro. All right. Let's take a look inside. That looks like John McGraw and the Giants on the on the cover. To me, John McGraw during the managerial days not the most svelte of characters. All right. So, we have On Deck Baseball Pro 8 Ocho, if you will. Now, the release date for this set of cards is November 1st. I am putting the link in the description for this video. This is a new set of great teams. It's called History's Best of the Best 8, or Ocho, if you will. History's Best of the Best 8, right there. And I'm putting the link in the description for this video. The release date is November 1st. But you're here now, so we're going to look at the cards and the teams and find out who's all involved. So, let's get up close and personal with On Deck Baseball's History... History's best of the best, eight. All right, the first team in the set is the 1915 Philadelphia Phillies. Now, this team, of course, defeated Babe Ruth's first World Series team, the 1915 Boston Red Sox. Uh, the star of the two, well, Gabby Kravath, uh, of course, probably the hitting star of the team, but the pitcher, the real star of the team for my money, is Grover Cleveland Alexander. And uh, there's his card. A 31 game winner in 1915. This guy, I, okay, he's a great. I get it. He's a great. But you know what really makes him great to me? Is that this guy was great in the dead ball period, and he was great in the lively ball period of the 20s. So it's those guys that transition into the lively ball era and are still great that really get my respect. Grover Alexander is one of them. This is his first World Series champion team. It's the 1915 Philadelphia Phillies. All right. Next up are the 1922 New York Giants. Now, the 1922 New York Giants played. They were your uh, National League champions, and they played the 1922 St. Louis Browns in the World Series. And you can just take a look at the names. Uh, Frankie Frisch, people forget he's on this team because of his managing the Gas House gang, but uh, Casey Stengel, there's a lot of big names on this team. And uh, certainly a, a great team of the 20s. 
You know, people get, when they think about the 20s, they think Yankees, which, okay, great. But uh, the there were other non-Yankee teams that were great as well, and this is one of them. The 1922 New York Giants. All right, so this is your second entry into the uh, set. Next up might be the greatest team of all time, the 1931 Homestead Grays. And for my money, this guy's the best hitter that you may not know that much about if you are not a Negro Leagues aficionado. But this guy was a pure hitter for average and for power, Judd Wilson. But oh, by the way, the rest of the lineup was pretty darn good too. There's Josh Gibson, Vic Harris, Left fielder George Tubby Scales was in his second baseman. Uh, Oscar Charleston. Now, Oscar, of course, had started to visit the buffet line on a regular basis by 1931, but he was still a great hitter. Uh, just name after name after name of great players. Ted Double Duty Radcliffe and the pitching staff was no slouch either. Here's Willie Foster. And, of course, Radcliffe, Smokey Joe Williams, Lefty Williams. I mean, it just goes Roy Williams. And there's the man that we all know, Satchel Paige. This, uh, according to lots of Negro Leagues historians, could be the best team of all time, not just in the Negro Leagues, but in any league. So you can now get this team on your tabletop. All right, next up. Your 1948 Cleveland Indians. Now, this team, of course, has had more multiple books written about it. Lou Boudreau, of course, the young player manager, but this is an integrated team as well uh, with a whole lot of names that you know. Um, uh, Larry Doby is on this team, and, of course, Another team with Satchel Paige, uh, Bob Lemon, Bob Feller, uh, Gene Bearden, a uh, pitching staff. Probably, I'm going to say, one of the very best pitching staffs of the 1940s, maybe of all time. There's Satchel Paige and his 1948 Indians team. Um just a fantastic team and World Series champion over the Braves, the Boston Braves. All right, next, the 1967 Yamiuri Giants. Uh, this is on a very, very short list of the greatest Japanese teams of all time, led by but including a lot more than Sadaharu O. Oh, uh, there, this is like a all-star franchise. Uh, the Giants won nine championships in a row. And Shigeo Nagashima, uh, very possibly the most popular player in Japanese baseball history. Didn't get along with Sadaharu O oh very well, but they were teammates and an incredible one-two punch. I can't wait to get this team on my tabletop and see how they do against uh, the other teams in this set and the other on-deck on, on deck baseball pro teams that I have. So you get a full complement here of your 1967. And this guy right here uh, was nearing the end of his playing career. He started a successful managerial career after that. But Masaichi Kanada is maybe the best uh, pitcher in Japanese baseball history. He is no worse than number two or three if he's not number one. Uh, so this team is uh, part of a Giants dynasty that was in the middle of its run or getting its run started at this point in 1967. And uh, I'm just really excited to get this team on my tabletop. I can't wait to get rolling with it. 
All right, next up, the 1988 Los Angeles Dodgers. Of course, Kirk Gibson's famous home run off Dennis Eckersley in game one of the 88 World Series. They went on to win the World Series over the Oakland Athletics in five games, but it was, I mean, it's Kirk Gibson's home run and Oral Hershiser's pitching and a whole lot of overachieving ballplayers. Mike Davis was on base when that home run was hit. Um, this is the team that, I think it was Bob Costas before game one of the World Series said that was probably the worst World Series team ever, and that apparently fired up the Dodgers, I guess, according to the story anyway. I don't think you can really fire up a baseball team very productively, but that's what the story is, that they got all excited because Bob Costa said they were the worst World Series team ever, and then that fired them up. The Athletics got all upset that he said it. Uh, but kind of a collection of misfit toys, I guess, and we'll see if you can manage them to success on your on-deck baseball pro tabletop. Now comes a kind of an overlooked franchise. It's the 1999 Texas Rangers. And yeah, okay, it's the steroid era, but uh, some pretty incredible performances regardless and quite a lineup. Juan Gonzalez, uh, Hall of Fame credentials, Ivan Rodriguez, Hall of Famer, uh, Credentials for Palmero as well. And you can see that this team was a very, very good one. The lineup was solid. A lot of offensive punch here. And once we get to the pitching staff, I think you're going to be impressed too. Uh, Rick Helling was one of the starters, not the not the ace of the staff. Aaron Seeley, 18-game winner. Uh Mike Morgan pitched for 5,000 years in Major League Baseball. There's your closer, John Wetland. Another reliever, important reliever, Jeff Zimmerman. Mike Van Afro, uh, star of, uh, star of, uh, help me out, Moneyball. Um, and this team will be fun to see how they do against some of the more pitching heavy teams in the set. And last but not least, a 20th century or 21st century great team, the 2001 Arizona Diamondbacks, who brought the, I guess you could say, and I think Buster Posey did say it, that he this team brought the Yankee dynasty to an end. Uh, remembered probably, maybe mostly, for the uh, one-two punch of Randy Johnson and Kurt Schilling, but uh, they're a lot more than that, and a tough team to beat. This might be the best team in the one of the best teams in the box. Although I think that 31 Homestead team is going to be tough to beat. Here's the big unit and Schilling, and uh, going to be fun to get these guys on the table and see how they do as well. All right, now the World Series begins on November 1st. That is also the release date of the history's best of the best eight for On Deck Baseball Pro. These eight teams can be ordered on November 1st. And this is a set I'm looking forward to getting on my channel. You'll be seeing some games from this set. And later on, I'll mix up the other sets too and get them involved. Uh, but I'm looking forward to getting these guys on my tabletop. So uh, this has been an authentic unboxing, unbaggaging. And I'm pleased to say there have been no casualties in the making of this video. So... The link that you need to follow on November 1st is in the description for this video to order this set for yourself. On Deck Baseball Pro, worth checking out. So, uh, thank you for being with me. 
and uh, I'm excited about this set. This is exciting stuff. Have a great evening. So long, everybody.